Um, you talk about health care. Um, as a small business owner, not only are you trying to provide benefits to your employees, you're trying to provide benefits to yourself. Um, so I have seen our health insurance for my own family go up $500 a month um, in the last two years. So I, we went from 400 something to 900 something. So we're just fighting to keep benefits for ourselves. Right. The thought of being able to provide benefits to your employees is, is almost secondary. Yet to keep your employees happy, that's a question that comes across my desk all the time. I have to keep my employees as independent contractors, for the most part, really to, to avoid that situation. And so I have turnover. Um, they go to a, a job where they do have benefits. Um, you know, same thing, I get women that, you know, I'm very lucky I have a woman who's retired, which is great, so she's willing to work because she has benefits from the government. Um, but if I can't provide benefits, let alone for myself, I can't provide them for my family. Um, the reason our insurance has gone up so much is we do not qualify for a subsidy on the current health insurance plan. Um, we unfortunately make just over too much money within that, within that gap. Um, so I guess my question to you is not only are you looking out for people that can't afford health care, but we are, I'm, I'm someone that can't afford it. But it's taking a big, big chunk out of, right. of you know, my, the money I bring home for myself. So, so is, is the policy that you now have one you got off of the exchanges? It's on the exchange. Okay. Well, what you're saying is one of the real worries that we're facing with uh, the cost of health insurance because the uh, the costs are going up in a lot of markets, not all, but many markets, and what you're describing. <laughs> Uh, is one of the real challenges because right now, like with so many of these programs, there's just a cutoff instead of what I would like to see a, a kind of uh, gradual uh, diminishment. Like people shouldn't just, once they get to a certain income level, lose all subsidy or lose all tax benefit or whatever else we could piece together that would enable you to make this more affordable for yourself. So that's something I'm looking at. I mean, I, I think that the Affordable Care Act is a big step forward for the vast majority of Americans, but we have to look at out-of-pocket costs, co-pays, deductibles, premiums, uh, and we have to make the insurance companies justify what they are charging because a lot of them um, are, are moving costs up without really explaining, or at least not to my satisfaction, why that's happening. And we need more nonprofit uh, options for people so that it's, you know, that was the original idea, but a lot of them got started and they didn't know how to do what they wanted to do. They had the great, they had great ideas, but didn't have the backup, so we need to go back and revisit that. Um, I also am in favor of what's called the public option so that people uh, can uh, buy into, uh, you know, Medicare above a certain age, which will then take a lot of the pressure off the costs because. The argument is that costs go up because real world experience means that people are getting sicker or the costs have to be spread. I want to I want to get behind that because I don't yet see the data to support that, but if you were able to move people 55 or 50 and up who are the biggest users of healthcare uh, into the Medicare program, they would have to buy in, but they would be buying into such a big program that the costs would be you know, more distributed. So there's a lot of things I'm looking at to try to figure out how to deal with exactly the problem you're talking about. And uh, I, there, there are some good ideas out there, but, but we have to subject them to the real world test. Will this really help like a small business owner or a family be able to afford it? Because a, a $400 increase, assuming you didn't have some terrible health care event, which it doesn't sound like I you did. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> I don't go to the doctor. So. Yeah, I know. But I mean, that's my, that's my point. It's like, what could have possibly raised your costs $400? And that's what I don't understand. So that's, that's what we've got to, we've got to pick that apart and really make sure we understand it. Yeah. 